Joining me now is former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. He is also a Fox News contributor. Good to see you, Governor. Uh, I, I want to ask Great first, to be with you, David. What, do you th you. what do you think of this plan to zero out pay increases among the civilian workforce? Well, you know, the Democrats are calling it the end of the world. This is a slap in the face. But I don't remember them saying that the three years when Obama had a zero pay increase. The president also offered this caveat. He said he's for performance-based pay increases, right. just not across the board. Third thing, Congress can always do it if they want to. Frankly, I think a lot of federal employees probably should get a pay raise, not all of them, but the ones that do their jobs and do it well, I like the performance-based pay. I hope the president can institute yeah. that. That's the way it works, more so in the private sector, and it would be an improvement. You know, you talk about Democrat hyperbole. It's gotten pretty hysterical over the past few days, particularly since the collapse of that CNN story on, on Michael Cohen. They seem to be desperate, and that desperation is showing itself in some strange ways, even among kind of mainstream Democrats, like like Robert Reich, the former Secretary of Labor, he came out and said, if in fact there's evidence from Mueller suggesting that there be an impeachment proceeding, that impeachment is not enough. He said impeachment would not remedy Mr. Trump's unconstitutional presidency because it would leave in place his vice president, White House staff and cabinet, as well as all the executive orders he issued and all the legislation he signed and the official record of his presidency. So impeachment is not enough. The Constitution is not enough. You have to wipe out the presidency. What do you think of this? I, I'm wondering, does Reich live in a state where they have recreational marijuana and he is the, the lead <laughs> spokesperson? Good gosh, what is he thinking? There is no such a thing as a constitutional provision for an annulment of an election. Secondly, he's not produced one scintilla of evidence that the election was rigged. The only thing we know is that President Trump won the Electoral College vote by an overwhelming margin. Yeah. It wasn't even close. So this nonsense that somehow the election was rigged, rigged in what way? Well, the it other thing is this would, this would was a undo candidate. what he wants to do is to undo all the deregulation, undo the tax policies uh, of the administration, undo, in other the words, everything president? that has led to this economic boom that we're in. Yeah, well, I mean, it's nonsense because, I mean, he's saying that the vice president wouldn't be the vice president, the cabinet members wouldn't hold their right. jobs. So you have this great big vacuum. What he's pushing for is a coup d'etat without the blood and the bullets. Right. He's, he's lost his mind even <laughs> suggesting it, and, and we really shouldn't take him seriously. All right. I, I also want to get your take on this story. Democrats in California going crazy over one fast food chain's political leanings. The chairman of the California Democratic Party, Eric Baum, tweeting, quote, a two in and out, tens of thousands of dollars donated to the California Republican Party. It's time to boycott in and out. Let Trump and his cronies support these creeps, perhaps animal style. Uh, Governor, we're not talking about a, a donation to an alt-right group or, or something. This is to, to the Republican National Committee, and that's worthy of a boycott? Yeah, and it was $25,000. How much about the millions of dollars that companies like Google and Apple and Starbucks all give to the Democratic National Committee? I don't know of one Republican that is calling for a national boycott that all Republicans and conservatives would quit buying their products. That's the difference, though, David, between Democrats and Republicans. If you don't agree with them, they don't want to just beat you in the election. They want to put you out of business. Republicans say, gosh, we'd like to win your business. Maybe we'll do better next time. in and out is a great burger. It's a great product. Whenever I go to California, I make sure that I go to in and out Burger because I think they're a terrific company. And by the way, I hope people will go. And there's always a line at in and out Burger. Let's yeah. hope that line quadruples in response to this stupid and, frankly, un-American approach uh, to in and out Burger's decision to give a paltry contribution. Frankly, if anything, let's hope they give a lot more well, to the Republican Party. Well, hitting a party. successful business is the last thing that anybody should do in this, in this country. I mean, we should be applauding successful businesses, for goodness sake. Governor, great to see you. Thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it.